A local blogger released on personal recognizance hours after being arrested in connection with coverage of a high profile local murder case. Aiden Kearney runs the blog Turtle Boy News, which has tens of thousands of followers. Boston 25 investigative reporter Ted Daniel broke this story this morning and has been covering the Karen Reed case from the very beginning. Quite the spectacle there today, Ted. Mark, Aiden Carney was arrested this morning outside his home in Holden. He tells me he was placed into handcuffs after walking his kids to the bus stop. These are the court documents here detailing the charges against him. He faces multiple counts of witness intimidation, obstructing the administration of justice, and a single count of conspiracy to intimidate a witness. As soon as Carney was released from custody, he went off on the courthouse steps. They will never shut me up. They will never, ever, ever stop me from reporting the truth. Karen Reed's self-proclaimed biggest offender is now defending himself. I hope they find that Ford Edge. That's Aiden Carney, a.k.a. Turtle Boy, in handcuffs. Earlier this month, he predicted this. They might arrest me for this. Now, I'm not going to stay in jail. I'll get bailed out in five seconds. During his arraignment, a special prosecutor appointed by the Norfolk County DA's office listed numerous occasions where Carney allegedly harassed people named as witnesses in the Karen Reed case. Reed is accused of killing her Boston police officer boyfriend, John O'Keefe. Carney claims she's been framed in a cover-up. So, John, I have a question. Did you think that you could outsmart Karen Reed? Carney confronted a mother and her daughter at a high school sporting event. So we are outside D&E Pizza. Owned by Chris Albert, Chicken Parm Charlie. He's protested outside of a Canton pizza shop owned by a relative of two people he claims are involved in John O'Keefe's murder. This is the home of Brian Albert. He's led rolling rallies to the Canton homes of witnesses and law enforcement. And the special prosecutor read this message Kearney left for the wife of a detective on the Reed case after broadcasting her cell phone number. And what's your scumbag husband up to now? Are you going to visit him in prison? Do you think they'll have conjugal visits? The special prosecutor claims Carney has made as much as $5 million from his coverage of this case. Carney laughed at that claim. He says he will not back down. Everything that you heard in that courtroom today is legal, protected opinion. And I will not be intimidated. I will not be silenced. And we will continue on our journey. The judge released Carney without bail. The special prosecutor wanted him to wear a GPS tracking device, but that request was denied by the judge. He's been ordered to stay away from a number of witnesses in the Karen Reed case. Mark, the judge did not specifically bar him from reporting on the Karen Reed case. Ted, one of the charges Kearney faces is conspiracy to intimidate a witness. What's that all about? Yeah, they talked about that in court. On his blog, Carney posted that he was looking to identify the owner of a car parked outside the home of a state trooper who's investigating the Reed case. An Avon dispatcher ran several plates for him, and that is the basis of that charge. They say registration info is only supposed to be accessed for legitimate law enforcement purposes. We've learned that Avon dispatcher has been placed Based on leave. And Ted Kearney says items were seized from his home this morning after the arrest? Yeah, I asked him about that. He didn't say exactly what uh, they took, but he mentioned that he needed to start over and get new electronics. Did not have a cell phone out when he left court, so that may be one of the items, Mark, that uh, has been taken by police. Ted, and as we heard earlier, Kearney had plenty of supporters with him at court. Yeah, he's got a big following. There were people holding signs for him outside court and standing with him when he spoke to reporters. As the hearing was taking place, you could hear a number of cars honking. Uh, as people drove by, they were honking to the people who were holding signs for him. Mark, this is just another twist in a case that's been anything but routine. It certainly has and a lot of people following a lot of interest in this case. We know you'll stay on top of it for us. Have any new news to pass along? We'll bring it back. Ted, thank you. The 25 Investigates team broke this story this morning. We sent out this push alert to our subscribers. If you'd like to get notifications like this anytime there's breaking news, download our free Boston 25 News app.